두 번째 순서로 인트로 투 마이 다 스케치업 닷컴의 발표 시간입니다. 트림블사의 스케치업 매니저인 마크 로리셀로님께서 스케치업 3D 베이스 캠프인 서울 발표를 위하여 귀한 시간을 내어 미국에서 들어오셨습니다. 자 그러면 큰 박수로 한번 모셔보도록 하겠습니다. Be here with you. It's, thank you. It's always really humbling to me to be able to go almost anywhere in the world and find people that really enjoy SketchUp and are passionate about it and want to learn more about it. So uh, I, I want to thank our uh, hosts with Building Point for putting this on, and uh, I really am impressed with this event and all the people that that turned out. And I'm very excited to introduce to you today my SketchUp. Um, by show of hands, how many people here have heard of my SketchUp? So this will be your introduction. So we at SketchUp are extremely excited about my SketchUp. We very much believe that this is going to be the future of SketchUp. Um, this is just the beginning of it. Um, but what really is at its core is this is SketchUp delivered on a web browser, delivered over the internet, not downloaded to the computer, um, but all of the interface is done through the web browser. And as you know, we've always tried to keep SketchUp as a very lightweight program, not terribly heavy, not resource intensive, and this is what makes it very adaptable to the web browser. We believe it's one of the very first web-based 3D design tools. Um, there's only a couple others out there really in early stages, none that have the user base and uh, uh, all of the functionality of SketchUp. So in the last couple of years, we've really taken on an overhaul of the entire graphics pipeline for SketchUp, primarily for my SketchUp and delivering it through the web browser. And my SketchUp is built on WebGL technology, which means that it works on most web browsers, but really it's optimized for Google Chrome. And this is full SketchUp. This is the entire program of SketchUp, and it compiles in your web browser. You may see other design tools that you can use over uh, on the web, but in reality it's running on a server somewhere and piping through to your computer. My SketchUp runs natively on your computer, so you can actually take it with you. You don't have to be connected to the internet to use it. And this was also an opportunity for us to overhaul the user interface of SketchUp. There are some unique challenges to delivering it on a web browser, and so you'll see that it's, it's very much cleaned up, streamlined, and meant to be a very efficient interface. So what are some of the advantages of being able to run SketchUp on a web browser? Uh, the first of which is that it's available anywhere. You don't have to install anything. All you have to do is have access to a computer and a web browser. And so this isn't really meant to replace SketchUp, your full version of SketchUp, but give you the ability to access your models, modify them, edit them, and share them anywhere you have access to a computer. And as you probably know, lots of schools uh, primary schools are now using Chromebooks uh, for education. And SketchUp, we believe very strongly in connecting with students at a very young age. And my SketchUp gives us that ability to do that because now it can work on Chromebooks. And just two weeks ago, we uh, released publicly SketchUp for schools. And this is available today for primary schools. They can sign up online at SketchUp well, I, if you Google SketchUp for schools, they can find the site. If the school uses G Suite, the Google Suite for education, they can sign up today for free. Another big advantage of my SketchUp is that because it's online, you can save all of your, pro all of your projects automatically online with Trimble Connect that is integrated with my SketchUp. And in the future, we think that online design has a lot of opportunities as well. Uh, in the future, we believe that it'll, my SketchUp will make collaboration very easy so that you could have multiple designers working on a project at the same time. 
We're also interested in developing active design sessions using mixed reality and virtual reality so that you could have a designer working in real time and a client be able to view that somewhere else remotely as they're designing, give the feedback. There are some limitations to being run on a web browser. Um, one of them, and this is not necessarily a limitation of the web browser, uh, but today my SketchUp is not yet optimized for mobile. It will work on mobile devices, but the ideal experience still requires a mouse and a, a keyboard input. My SketchUp uh, doesn't perform as well as SketchUp on the client with large models, and this is just a limitation of the web browser. Uh, also, not all of the keyboard shortcuts work, and they also cannot be customized. And again, this is a function of how web browsers uh, operate. Uh, they use some of the keys for their own functions, and we have to work within that environment. Uh, and today, uh, because it's in the web browser again, uh, Ruby extensions will not be available. Uh, Ruby is not a web programming language, and so extensions will have to be rewritten for my SketchUp. And you can try my SketchUp today. Uh, I encourage everyone here to log on to SketchUp. All you need is a, a Google account, and you can sign up at my.sketchup.com. My Signing up is free, uh, but this is a beta product. Um, so there might still be some bugs, some limitations. Um, but we want your input. This is your opportunity to influence the development of my SketchUp and give your feedback. And so I'm going to go ahead and show you my SketchUp. And I get there simply by going to my.sketchup.com. Yep. And this is the home page. And so this is SketchUp compiling in my browser right now. And so this is the new my SketchUp interface. You can see this looks a bit different than SketchUp you might be used to. So very quickly, I want to just show you uh, some of the, the new layout. This first button here, you can see we're showing a change log. This is the changes to the beta program as they happen. And we're publishing them, updating them, so you can keep track of how this continues to evolve. And much of the feedback comes from our user community. So again, please, if, if you're interested in this, sign up and, and provide your feedback. And so again, this is a Google profile for your login. Of course, templates. You should be familiar with these from SketchUp. Nothing really new here. Um, but this is Trimble Connect. And so you may have heard Trimble Connect mentioned in other contexts. Uh, this is really the core collaboration tool, the file sharing tool for all Trimble products. So I can save my file from my.sketchup, open, open it in SketchUp. Uh, someone else using maybe Tecla for uh, structural design could also access this through Trimble Connect. And this is really going to be the platform for all Trimble softwares in the future. Location services, uh, much the same in my SketchUp. I can choose my, uh, my units and, and precision and also share to 3D Warehouse. So these are also common to, to SketchUp. And then this interface here on the left is largely a reproduction of what we call the large models, or the uh, large tool set in SketchUp. Um, but it's actually been streamlined so that you can access multiple tool paths uh, from within this interface. And it makes it very clean, compact, uh, easy to use when you're working in a small window. And we think this is a, much, a, a very clean way to represent SketchUp. We think we've gotten all of the core tools into this tool set uh, in a very compact and small way. And then on the left here, we have a series of icons that represent a lot of the menu items or those windows that you would stack up in SketchUp on the client are now compacted into this uh, little interface here. So I still have access to my instructor to help me understand how to use different tools. Search 3D Warehouse and, and find components and insert components in much the same way. Um, materials are also uh, supported. And this is going to be a little different than the uh, SketchUp interface. It's taking some time to load. I think uh, internet might be causing some challenges there. 
So there are some limitations with style. Uh, you cannot uh, edit styles today uh, within my SketchUp. Layers, views, displays, these should all be pretty familiar with, to anyone who is uh, familiar with SketchUp. Uh, maybe a little different layout, but uh, I've actually really enjoyed using this because it's kind of been like learning SketchUp again, but I already kind of know how to use it, so it's, it's really just a new interface to understand. And if you do log into SketchUp and you have feedback to give, this little bullhorn in the bottom left corner uh, brings you to the SketchUp forums. And you can see how much feedback we really do get uh, on our forums. This, this truly does drive our development. Can I ask again by a show of hands, how many people either have a, a profile on the SketchUp forums or have visited the SketchUp forums in the past? Only a couple? Okay. So I know it is primarily English-based, uh, but there is a lot of very good information to be found on the SketchUp forums, um, and Google Translate has actually uh, gotten much better in the past few months about uh, translating to Korean and other uh, Asian languages. So if you take nothing else away from this presentation today, uh, I, hope you take, or I hope you visit forums.sketchup.com because it is a really excellent resource. It's a very strong, thriving community, and we would love to have your participation. Uh, so going back to my SketchUp, I'll just show uh, very quickly you know, how performant it is. Uh, you can see very smooth, all operating from within my web browser. Uh, I can choose models, uh, or I'm sorry, tools uh, through the interface, or I can use keyboard shortcuts for most of those functions. Uh, you can see that inferencing is the same in my SketchUp. Um, the axis locks are also the same in my SketchUp. So I can use the offset tool, push-pull tool, line tool, rectangle tool, all using the, the, the tools or the keyboard shortcuts. Uh, components, groups uh, work much the same in my SketchUp. I'm limited in the keyboard shortcuts because I have to hold the microphone. Arrays, uh, most everything is, is there. If you know SketchUp, you should be able to jump into my SketchUp quite easily. Let's see if our materials are working. Um, it's not for commercial use yet, so I think I'm going to cut my live demo a little short and show you. This is SketchUp for schools. Uh, it's slightly simplified, uh, really targeted for primary schools. And you can see you can find SketchUp for schools at edu.sketchup.com. So if you know a teacher or a school that's interested in design, uh, please, please share this with them. So I thought I'd show how a larger model uh, performs in my SketchUp. This is a new World Trade Center building uh, being built in Denver, Colorado right now. Uh, this model isn't terribly heavy. It's only about 15 megabytes. Um, but it does have about 100,000 polygons, so, so fairly complicated. And it is uh, geolocated uh, to, the, to the proper coordinates. Um, you can see how fluidly my SketchUp is able to navigate this model. I'm going to go ahead and take a walk through this model. And it is a matter of how many polygons it's trying to render at a time. So now that I'm in a very near view, it's not trying to render the whole buildings, and so it gets much more performant. Of course, all the walk around features you're used to in SketchUp. And so you can imagine, since this is online, uh, you could essentially be a tour guide to someone in a mixed reality or virtual reality setting. And so that's really about it for my SketchUp. It's everything you know and love about SketchUp, streamlined and delivered through the web browser. Uh, there, there is no layout on the web yet, but it is something uh, that's on our radar and we'd like to develop in the future. And so we will continue offering this in a, a beta form 
probably until about the end of the year, at which point uh, we'll make it uh, available for commercial purchase. Um, but as with any sort of development, that's, that's kind of speculative and dependent on a lot of things going right. So uh, could, could go either way, sooner or later, um, but, but sometime probably within the next year.